Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Last Oasis. All right, guys, I've got we have the clan's buffalo, one of the clan's buffaloes, right behind me, and I'm going to show you today how you can get more module slots in your in your machine by using higher quality materials, so we can put all of the rumors to rest. So I have uh, I've got Winston over here. How you doing there, Winston? I'm doing well. Glad to be back. May I come aboard? Of course. We. All right, guys. So there's a lot going on in this ship. Obviously, I'm sure you can see we've got uh, we've got we've got repeaters and and heart, and we've got we've got ballistas and there's even a forge here. We're not gonna go over the forge right now. Or the furnace. We're not gonna go over the furnace today. But um, but there's a lot of crafting stations and guys, there's just a lot going on here. Oh, uh, what do you, what is this right here at the top? What is this? I, I'm not familiar. That with this. is our new water turret. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you uh you go and you spray the uh, you spray the lava and it, you can make obsidian, right? Uh, yeah, that is correct. Or you can just hose down a friend if you're uh, bored. <laughs> does it do damage? It does a very small amount of damage if you're very close to it. It's all about pushback, though, right? Yeah. Cool, man. We have used it to get obsidian, so it works there. Yeah, cool. Right on. So, um, how long does it take to cool down the lava? Do you think? It's kind of interesting. Basically, wherever the water hits, it makes a small patch of obsidian, and we found out that you can walk on the lava just fine without being hurt. I saw a. Um, I, I made a comment in the video. I was like, um, "Was it one of the one of the nurs was walking on the lava?" So they'll they'll have to they'll have to do something about that. I imagine they will eventually. We're still in we're still in um, pre alpha, so I, I expect that all that all those little touches are going to come into the game eventually. But anyway, so uh, if they do, they got to make a better way to mine obsidian because you have to be standing right on top of it. Oh wow, that's messed up. So it just makes a little tiny rock inside the lava, and, and you basically walk out onto the lava and pickaxe it. Hmm, interesting. All right. Well, now this buffalo. Um, you know, why don't you educate the the people at home? Uh, how what quality materials did you use to make this this uh, this whole buffalo? So the bulk of the buffalo's quality is actually made up of um, quality wood that we've gathered with our uh, axes. Uh, I'm sure you've hopefully watched the quality video that we made earlier about making quality tools. No, I never saw it. <laughs> oh, well, that's a shame. You can uh, <laughs> gather different quality resources from places around the map and assemble them into tools, and that will help you get started on your quality journey. But just go watch that video. Yeah, go watch a video. It's on my channel, guys. We made or Winston and I made that video. So, so uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's in the playlist, which is in the top right hand side of your screen. So that has all of my last Oasis uh, videos, uh, that, or all of the last Oasis videos we've made so so far. So anyway, so so you say that you most of the wood that was, or almost all the wood from the buffalo was harvested uh, by quality tool pit or tools, and and so this is what quality thirty you say? It is quality thirty one. Thirty one. But a lot of the quality comes from this fiber working station as well. Just the basic one, because you can't do it with the fancy one for whatever reason. Let me go. So if you look in there. This is a quality 78 fiber working station, guys. And we're getting... We're so we are turning just the default Rupu pelts that you have tons of into high quality fiber with Look at the that. power of this station. Look at that, guys. So you know, you're, uh, you're taking, you're taking uh, a quality zero and basically, and, and you're adding zero to 78, which means you're dividing 78 by two and you're, we're getting 39. So uh, that's, and so it's rounding up actually. Is it right? 35? No, nope, that's, no, that's, that's right. just actually half. Yeah, that's right. That's half. So, and then it could make, you know, 39 rope, uh, 26 uh, fiber weave, quality uh, 39 fiber. Um, yeah. And so, so, yeah. The entire, when, when you're building, um, when you're building a quality walker, the legs and the wings don't have to be quality, but everything that you're putting into that starting walker, even the foundations, all the, that's where the quality matters. Okay. So you want that to be as high quality as possible. So now, and if then, you've already made a walker, then let's say you've already, I've already made a, a dinghy, and I take and I replace the the, the legs with quality legs, and, or in quality wings, will that make a difference? It will not. You'll have more HP on your legs and wings, but that will be it. Okay. There you go, guys. So you want you you want to get your your base. You need you need your you need the the centerpiece the center the center base to be your quality material. So if you already got an existing walker that you like, uh, keep it because you're not going to be able to do anything with it. Don't waste quality materials on on your wings and your legs. Waste it on or not use it on quality workstations because that's where you're that's where you're going to be able to get your or on quality tools. Either way, um, probably on quality tools first, then quality workstations if you had to choose between the two. 
Um, and so if you open this big old barrel here and go to the upgrades menu, you will see the benefits of having a quality walker. Open storage. There we go. So, and go E for upgrades. It's so, all right, guys. So we have uh, 10, 20, 31, 31 slots for modules. So now, originally, right now, most of you, or a lot of you, when you're just starting out, you're going to find that when you make a walker, you only have, uh, if you upgrade it by buying the upgrades, and I'm going to do that, I'm going to do a video, um, that'll be up next. I'll be, I'll be doing how to upgrade your vehicle, um, I'll be doing that video up next. But once you upgrade your vehicle all the way up, the highest you can get right now is, is level 5. Um, and so that means you're going to have six modules that you're going to have available to you in your walker. That's only going to be one of these slots, but by... Using high quality materials, you're actually able to open up more of these slots here. So you're going to be able to, you're actually going to, depending on what quality you're working with, you're going to end up with potentially, if you had 100, quality 100 materials right now, we could, you, you could have how many slots, Winston? Uh, potentially 11 is the theory. 11. If you use quality 100. And then also upgrade your walker to the maximum level with the with the flots, the currency. Right. So that would be a hundred, ten, a hundred uh, individual modules. So ten slots from quality, and then one slot from upgrading. Right. So you could have eleven different kinds of modules. So that that is amazing, guys. I mean, so and right now, I mean, this is just this is just from a walker that I mean, and I, I don't say just th is it just level thirty one. But right now we're using four different types of modules. Using the fortress module, which uh, increases the armor value of the structures that are on the walker. Uh, the craftsman. Life pro tip: It does not. It doesn't do anything as far as we can tell. Oh really? So it's not. It's not in the game yet then. Do not install fortress modules right now. Okay. What about the crafting module? Um, decreasing the crafting time of the stations. Have you noticed? We that? believe uh, our tests. We're seeing about a five percent result per stack. So I haven't actually gotten the timer out for this new buffalo but on the old one we were getting about a uh, 30 percent time reduction with six of them okay and uh, the pack mule module is it working as as, as expected uh it is yes it's giving us an extra 1000 maximum weight nice and now the uh now the buffalo how, how much weight will it carry right now the default buffalo carries 3200 and this one carries 4200 there we go that's nice and then, uh, last but not least, they've got a forger module right now. I have never seen this module before. It's super, super rare. But when you when you're walking with your with your walker, it automatically harvests fiber. And what else does it har harvest besides fiber? Basically, anything that you'd expect to get with a scythe. It will get you fiber. It will get you corn. Aloe. Uh, probably cotton. I think aloe too. Cactus. It will not get you a cactus. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, you know, because you use a hatchet for that. Uh, what about cattails? Have you walked through a cattail patch? Oh, yes, it will get you cattails. Oh, my gosh, man. You definitely want this in your life, for sure, for sure. But this is one out of two. Oh, that's right, because we're, we're at 31, or we're at 32 modules. Yes, yeah, so we can, we can put one additional one in there if we happen to have it around. Right, right. So actually, guys, you know, if you can come across uh, some forger modules and put that on a spider, um, that, I mean, if you're a solo player, that would be a really cool... Um, quick way of gathering your fiber and your cattails and everything else because uh, it's super quick. I mean, you have to go slow. This is going to kind of slow anyway, isn't it? The buffalo actually goes at a pretty decent clip. Is it really? Yeah. Do you want to go for a ride? Yeah, let's go for a ride, man. Feel free to take her for a spin. Okay. Where is the steering wheel? Right behind oh, you. There we are. Okay. Go ahead and just uh, zoom out here. Um, I guess we're going to back her up. She feels like she's at the speed of a, of a dinghy right now, backing up. Just backing up. Now, what's the HP on this? The buffalo has, with the bone tier upgrades, it has 2,700. So it's pretty average ship hold. 27,000. Yes, I'm, I'm my apologies. No, 27,000. The then the legs are 5800 and the wings are 1800. Oh yeah, she's uh, pretty she's pretty fast, 6, man. Like I'm not even I, yeah, I'm not I'm not using torque right now and she's pretty quick. You now yeah. 
these small wings are these standard or they're these uh, added? No, these are these are the tier two wings. That's so why, yeah. Large, yeah, yeah. small, medium. Oh yeah, dude, this is good. This is really quick. That's nice. Uh, you mind if I if I if I put her into high gear? Uh, yeah. Go just for, for a it. second. Just for a second. Yeah. All right. So that is. Oh yeah, she's 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 got to be as quick as my as my as my dinghy. I would I would imagine. You want to you want to go uh, side by side and see? Uh, sure. We can do a race. Um, I'm gonna just a short one just to see. Uh, I, I imagine she's gonna be quicker. I like this buffalo man. Lots of lots of deck space. Lot you know for for whatever you want really, now uh, how about how much did it take to craft this one? I mean first of uh, all you need how many tablets for this? The buffalo is one stack of sixteen tablets, so just having sixteen isn't enough. They need right. to all be the same kind. Right guys, and so you, I mean if you, you you know from my my my, la my the video where I where I crafted my very first tablet. I I, I was I'm just gonna jump off here and I'll bring my I'll bring my dinghy down. Um, so yeah, there's three different types of tablets, right? You get the animal tablet, you have the uh, celestial tablet, and you have the elemental tablets, right? And so that is correct. Yeah. So and and so when you're when you're when you're farming, I mean, like like so, something you said, the buffalo costs what, sixteen tablets? Yes, it is. And yeah, you so need sixteen of one type. Of one type, yeah. So it's like you're you're going to be you're going to be you might potentially be farming forty tablets before you can get sixteen of one type or more. Because there's no telling, you know, what the what, what is, you know what the average is going to be. I mean, we're not the average, but there's no telling what you're gonna, what you're going to be um, getting. So, I mean, you got might get lucky. I mean, you know, and you only have to farm 25, 30 tablets, but the, the odds are against you in that, right? Uh, yes, yeah, somewhat. But uh, the good news is that extra tablets obviously aren't wasted. We've been using uh, our smallest stack of tablets to research small upgrades like pickaxes and weapons. Right, right. And you guys uh, uh, at home, you've seen me just uh, mess with like single tablets. Anything that I've got to, um, I, 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 that it's going to take a lot of tablets. I'm probably going to be uh, showing you what the clan has done because they, if they'll, you know, if 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 they have time to show because uh, they're doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. So I'm just going to be doing the lighter stuff like one tablet, two tablets, five tablets, whatever. Um, it be because I, you know, I'm just one person is going to take one person a long time to, to do enough tablets to do something as large as a buffalo. All right. Well, you ready to do this thing, sir? You ready to do this race? Yep. All right. So where do you want to race to? about that big cactus tree over there in the distance? Okay. Sounds good. Uh, I think we're fairly nose to nose. All right, so we're going to go uh, uh, using Torque as a, at a sprint from the get-go. Sure thing. So there's no false starts. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. And okay, on the okay, I'm going to go and ready, set, go. And I whoa, look at that! Pop the wheelie! Oh wow! I'm almost at full. Uh, I'm at thousand out of twelve hundred pounds too. You're almost full too, right? I am. I'm at uh, 3,400 out of 4,200. Yeah, there's no doubt that the dinghy is faster than, than the buffalo unless you hit a tree. <laughs> yeah, whoa, dude. So, I mean, what do you say, 20% faster than the buffalo? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it's definitely faster. And we both have the, the small wings, so it should have, I mean, that, that makes you faster nor than, than you, what you normally would be, right? That is correct. Small wing buffalo is faster than uh, default wings. And what do you have on the front here? What's the, what's this oh, thing on, on the, front? the front? I have a saw pod. If you'd like to saw hop pod. in and check it out. Yeah, dude, let's do it. I'll just park my my dinghy over here. Yeah. So you know, people were asking, is the dinghy faster than the stiletto? Is it fat? In uh, it's definitely faster than the buffalo, which is uh, a higher grade um, machine than than the stiletto. But question is, I mean, they're all different, right? So I mean, uh, do you know if the buffalo is faster than the stiletto? I believe a stiletto is faster than the buffalo. Okay, but so I, I, I just jump in, confirm. huh? Yeah. Whoa, dude, this is cool, dude. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> uh, just holding down the left mouse button, guys, to get that blade to go out. I feel like I'm in Star Wars. I'm the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you're close. Oh, there you go. There we go. Uh, I'm not. Oh, there we go. I'm getting a little something here. How close do you got to get to it? Oh, it's kind of slow, huh? 
Yeah, it's a little bit slower than using the axe, but you produce a lot more wood from it. Is it putting, is it, so 41 wood, 29 palm leaves, really? I don't know, man, my axe seems like it, uh, it gets about that, but. So, it's kind of hard to gauge um, on my side of things where, you know, how close you got to be. So it's just up to the driver then, huh? Now I got quality, I, mean I got quality one ca or, uh, cactus flesh. So uh, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the highest, um, quality you can get from this, this saw quality one unfortunately uh, no matter how hard we've messed around with it we can't get anything better can i damage my own ship with it i don't believe so mm -hmm. but you can damage soft things like uh chests i can't I think it i can't even reach things. the i can't even reach the uh, the underbelly of the of the buffalo can you kill people with it you can but it takes a long time oh really yeah it does about seven or eight damage what about rupus can you kill rupus you can kill Rupus. Really? Does it take a long time? It does. Oh, okay. Well, there's no point then. I mean, except, I mean, unless you just get your bored and you got nothing better to do. What about Nur? Will it kill Nur? We tried to kill a Nur, but they're too agile. They just run circles around the pod user. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, this is cool, man. I do. I really feel like I'm, I'm in the Millennium Falcon. This is awesome. I like this a lot. Cool, man. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, oh, and when you jump out, you go up top on the deck. That's nice. You don't jump back yep. out. That's that's cool. All right, guys. Well, that is what it's going to take to upgrade your walker so you can get more module slots. Hopefully, this was helpful to you. And we wanted to give you a tour of the Buffalo as well and some of the additions, some of the things that you can you can, you can can expect, that you can add to it, uh, some of the cool things that we've been doing uh, as a clan. They've been doing as a clan mostly because, I mean, it, there's so many people that are gathering right now. It, it, the, uh, the amount of knowledge that's in this clan is amazing. So if you'd like to join this clan, if you'd like to have a place, you'd like to have a little home in Last Oasis, go ahead and go down to the bottom of the description and click on that Discord link. Talk to one of the recruitment officers. They'd be more than happy to help you. It doesn't matter whether you want a PvP or you just want to craft. It doesn't matter. Uh, you just want to gather. You just want to dink around. Uh, there's somebody. Uh, there's going to be a spot for you here if you'd like. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it was informational to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for helping out there, Winston. I appreciate it. You want to say goodbye? Nope. No problem. Happy trails out there, nomads. Stay safe. All righty, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.